Okay. My abiding memory of my two albums is looking at the back of my engineer's head. Well, it's just like, okay, yeah, hang, hang on, hang on. Or how's that sound? It sounds the same. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and listening to it so many times, I'm like, I hate this song! Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me and my guest. And my guest, I met her at the Home of Rome Songwriter Showcase when it was at the Strat, run by Hal Savar. Yes. Uh, now it's at Soul Belly Barbecue on Main Street, if you're in the area. Uh, also, if you aren't in the area but you want to watch it, I also live stream that uh, while I'm there. You can check that out, of course, on the channel. Uh, why don't you subscribe and then you won't miss out. She is also part of the Holy Trash Podcast. Which yeah. we'll get into. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, as a singer-songwriter promoting body positivity and mental health, the latest release is The Antidote. But we have, there's a new album coming out. Yes. At time of recording next month in July. And that is called... 444 AM. 444 AM. Please welcome to the channel, Troy L. Say hi. Yay! Hello, everyone. That's the stage name, right? It's just Troy L. It's just Troy L. Just Troy L. Just Troy L. Just Troy L. Oh, they don't need to know. They don't need to know. So, Troy L, first of all, welcome to the channel. Thank you. My... Room six says. Clink. <laughs> uh, oh. Lovely merch. Speaking of which, if you want to help out the channel in any way, shape, or form with money, uh, go to room6.shop <laughs> here. Shop the merch. Get the merch. I've got all sorts of summer stuff. I've got winter stuff as well. I've got mugs. I've got hats. All that stuff. Also, I've got a Patreon page with patron-only content and a couple albums of my own that I put out. Ooh. Yeah, so... Please, it will help out this local scene. It will also help out the um, the channel because I'll be able to make better videos. But more importantly, <laughs> if you want to be on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, please hit me up using my email address or the social media link for Room 6 down in the description. Um, that's how you can get a hold of me, and we'll have a good time. Right? Right. Gee. A great time. Also stick around. She's going to be performing with her band uh, after this. Four or five songs, something like that. And uh, it ought to be interesting. Because of the size of the band, we're actually moving from room six down to uh, a different area of my house. So, uh, yeah, ought to be interesting. Taking over. <laughs> so, first question. Okay. Buffalo to Vegas? Buffalo to Vegas. Why? Were you... I, just, I just follow my family, you know? Were you, you were moved? Yeah, I was moved. Okay. <laughs> As a child. <laughs> well, it's funny because my in-laws, who's they own the house and we, we pay all the bills, it's a, Cool situation. My in-laws are actually from Buffalo. They met in Niagara Falls, the city. Yep. That is so crazy. Go Bills. No, because this house is like literally just like my grandparents' house. Yeah. Who are also from Buffalo. So how funny. Go right? Bills. Go Bills. <laughs> well, go Niners because we moved here from the Bay Area. So, okay, yeah. well. Hey, they both suck. Let's be honest. <laughs> go not Raiders. Yeah, I said it. I live in Vegas. Not happy. Anyway. There goes all my subscribers. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask you, first off, how long have you been uh, doing music, just in general? My whole life. My whole life. I was born with a microphone. Born. Yeah, church, you know, growing up, starting off with uh, like Choir plays, kid, right? Choir kid. Yes. All I, I, I've heard her perform at the showcase before. Definitely got a little bit of some runs going on, vocal runs. You got the, the uh, false, not the false out, the... Um, Higher registers. Yeah. Yep. So mixing it all in there. Yep. 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 Everything I learned. <laughs> nice. Um, so, how I wanted to talk musical influences. Okay. What was that earliest musical influence where you're like, I want to do that? Because listening to music, it's not so much choir music. Right. <laughs> but it is. There's a little. It's R and B certainly, but there's a little bit of gospel in there. I yeah. think. Yeah. So, what was that earliest musical influence that, that that act or that song or that genre where you were like? I want to do that. It's probably gospel. Yeah. That was like yeah. the earliest I can remember where it like pulls emotion out of you and you're kind of like. It is its job. It, Inspiring. It, it does its job. Yeah. So that's probably like my earliest influence, I would say. And all kinds of different artists and choirs and mass nice. choirs and all that. So. Right on. Uh, from there, I wanted to talk. Now, you've been performing as Troy L. Mm -hmm. For how long? Mm, um, probably the last... Like seriously, probably the last 
two years. Was there ever, like, I couldn't find anything online. Was there ever some band you were a part of at some point? No band. No. I was doing uh, worship leading for a long time in church and then decided to go solo. Go solo. Solo. Yeah. I'm solo. Anyway. (laughs) (laughs) We won't go down that path. But, uh, (laughs) so, I I wanted to ask them, because I've only seen you at Showcase. Right. What is your favorite show memory? And it could be something. It was, like, really, really good or really, really bad or, or... just a, mm. I checked off my little like rock star checklist, or what was that favorite that memory that you is like? Yes, this is honestly the strat was when you saw it because that was the first time that I had had musicians play my music, mm. and that is a big moment. We never had a real rehearsal. We kind of just like went <laughs> over it right familiar. before. <laughs> Specialty of mine. Um, but yeah, so we kind of just like call, all came together. And the way it came together, I was mm-hmm. like blown away. That was like nice favorite top memory. Well, it helped. Like you you had tracks at least for them to hear, hear right? Yeah, I did have tracks it for them like to hear. It wasn't like just wrote But it's one of those things where it's like you don't know really how it's going to go. Right, right, right. You're hoping that everyone gels together. You were very fortunate because they're tight. Very Solid tight. Solid musicians. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and Vegas, I mean, Vegas is full of tight session musicians. Very or true. That could fill in for a gig or whatever. Yeah. But... It's, it's a rare thing when everybody sounds like they're having fun. Yeah. You know? And and also the type of music you do, it lends itself to the jam. It lends itself to the groove. Yeah. And 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 now me, I'm a front man, and whenever I had to like introduce my... I'm playing guitar. Right. So I got to show them, okay, these are the chords. And right. you're just like, here's the, here's the track, yeah. and I'm singing. Yeah. Play. So you got a little easier there. Yeah. That's um, true. Right on. So yeah, the Strat, the Remix Lounge... It is a great venue, but it's still in a casino. Yeah. So there's still that. That's what I love about having musicians in here uh, to you know perform here is that all the noise from a show, a live show, is gone. Yeah. Um, and and it, well, granted, it's not the same. It's not the same as a live show. But it, it's 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 different. It still hits the same. I think like as far yeah. as like intimacy wise and like. Oh yeah. I no, like... I have a lot of a lot of a lot of bands and a lot of musicians, uh, so, like solo singer songwriters. We'll come in, and, and there's a little bit of red light fever at first, but once they they settle down, it's not the same as recording an album or recording a right. single because this is still like okay, let's hit it, quit it, one and done, as opposed to okay, now let's get your vocals, now let's get the drums, right? Now, yeah, so individual, yeah, it sucks the fun out of it. <laughs> my <laughs> my abiding memory of my two albums is looking at the back of my engineer's head. Well, it's just like okay, hey, like hang that. on, hang on. All right, how's that sound? Yeah. It sounds the same. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and listening to it so many times, I'm like, I hate this song! <laughs> I, I have one song on my second album uh, called... Um, it's a non-autobiographical song about adultery. Ooh. Yes. And it, it's... it's non Non... I want to make sure... That in. <laughs> it's non-autobiographical. It, it was actually... When my daughter was very young, like... Four or five. It was her favorite song of of mine, and I was like, "This is weird." (laughs) You're like, "Uh." "Yeah." She also really liked Cole Porter's "Love for Sale," so I don't know what that was about. That taste. (laughs) Yeah, she likes songs about sex. I don't know. Anyway, but cheers. But it's called the song's called (laughs) "Responsibilities," and um, I, for whatever reason, just kept doing it and doing it, and I was never satisfied with the solo. And I kept, I would do a solo, and I would, and I would do solo different. And until I had seven solo tracks. And finally I was like, what, what happens if we push, play them all at once? And that's what's on there. Wow. Slight tweakage. Slight How do you hear tweakage. that? And I'll never be able to replicate that live. Right. Like, I, I, I'm actually performing for the first time in front of people for, for years. Yay! This Sunday at the Showcase of Soul Belly Barbecue. You won't see this until after that. But I'm going to do that song on acoustic by myself. So there's no solo. Wow. <laughs> it's going to be very much like raw live. Yeah, and and but that's the thing is I, I tend to write music with the knowledge like I may have to perform this by myself, so I need to have a stripped down version. So key and true. Yeah. Because especially if you're an instrumentalist, you you cannot say okay, well this is a punk song. I'm gonna play it just like I play on my on my right electric, but I'm gonna play it on acoustic. My song. You're gonna be disappointed. The antidote. Yeah. We had fun in the studio with that, like creating a bunch of stuff, and then I went, "How do I do this live?" <laughs> the song yeah. is like... Now that being said, though, I also got some really good advice from the engineer, 
whose name is uh, BJ Therio. He, he runs Redstone Studios, at least he did. I don't know if he's still doing it. Uh, he's my former bass player. He played the drum kit on that album because he was better at it than I was. And I did everything else. And he told me, you know what? Put out... I, I, I was worried. I was like, Do I, should I put out music that I can't replicate? On, right. on, and he said, put out music you want people to hear. And that, you know, put out your best stuff. And then worry about that later. Later, yeah. yeah. And I'm so glad he did. Yeah. Thanks, DJ. That is good advice. If you're, you're not watching this probably, but good on you, man. Um, so, we talked about influences. We talked about favorite show memory. I wanted to talk about what's your favorite live music venue in Vegas? And just mm. seeing music or playing, performing there, whatever. Honestly, anything outside. <laughs> Way to narrow it down. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Um, favorite venue. Yeah, I just have this, like, vision of playing at, like, some kind of music festival or something, like, right. outdoors. I don't know why. Well, see, and it. again, your music, totally picture it, like a jazz festival or something. I could picture it Thank you. at a festival. But, that being said, you could also picture it in kind of a nightclub. Yeah. It's you know? got that vibe, too. So, um. Honestly, at this point, I'm open to anyone that will have <laughs> <laughs> right yeah okay so i wanted to ask a weird question for you okay uh-oh uh-oh yeah did that old lady ever forgive you for running into her at the gym the old lady forgive me for running into her at the gym you posted it wait you have to remind me I, memory. that's all i got <laughs> apparently you ran into some old lady at the gym I ran in, like, like literally ran into her. Apparently. So I... <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I, write, I write these notes a while in advance. Although it's the only way I can stay on top of stuff. Was this like a tweet? Probably. It? Might have been Instagram. No, I think it was a tweet. Might have been tweet. Facebook. I'm trying to remember now. Well, it's all right. Never mind. We'll move on. <laughs> Sorry. I figured you were going to be like, how did you find out about <laughs> I am a little like... Where are you getting this from? I do, I do, I do my deep dive. Um, okay. Real quick. Okay. If you could change one thing about the local Las Vegas music scene, what would it be? Mm. And why? If I change one thing about the local Las Vegas music scene. Well, I would say that... But I think it's happening. So, mm -hmm. but before I know that Vegas was not friendly for originals. The, they wanted a lot. It of It was, and then it dipped. Yeah. And then it came back. Yes. And, and like uh, one, this is the one time I can say this. Thanks, COVID, in, in sincerity. Like <laughs> because of quarantine, suddenly there was a hunger for live or music. Like, it didn't matter what you played. If you were playing a live original, show, yeah, packed, yeah, instant. Which is like crazy. But yeah, like you said, before COVID, that was not a thing. It was like, they um, want you to perform, they want you to do covers, right, right, right. they want you to sound like somebody else. You're and too, yeah, you're too loud, and, you know... They're, like, trying to mold you into something, and you, I'm like, this know, sucks! You're bent, <laughs> we want, you know, it, it, we'll, you, can you can you get a, a pretty girl to be on stage with you, and, and yeah. It's like a whole act. They're like, the, it's Vegas, baby, it's Vegas! The whole casino thing, and the casinos kind of took a hit. And they're like, please? Yeah. <laughs> Anybody? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, so what else, then? Um, okay, one thing about the music scene, um, mm, 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 mm. um, I guess, like, m These questions are catching me off guard. That's my job. <laughs> um, I guess, like, more community, so stuff like this is awesome. The, yeah, again, the, the sense of community, how Savar is doing it, I, I, romance, sorry, no, <laughs> he's definitely doing a really sure. good job of growing the community. Yeah. Um, and, and I'm trying to help out as much as I can as well. Um, but if you're a musician, if you've ever been a musician at any point and performed and tried to like do it, it's all the same struggles. And a lot of it is all the same. Yeah. And, and, and no matter where you live, no matter where you are, it's, there are certain things that suck. There are certain things that are awesome. And community makes it easier and, and, and better. So I agree. Big on community. Right on. Yeah. <sighs> Two more questions. You ready? I think so. Okay, cool. Numero uno. Okay. Why? Betroyal. What is, is there? Are you named after somebody? My father. Can you guess what his name is? Troy. 
Ta da da! Yeah. Looking at mom. <laughs> Hi, okay. mom. Okay. I thought, honestly, it was going to be like, it means this. <laughs> I wish I had some, like, you know. But no, it's just a. I'm his only daughter, and here I am. Definitely, um, you don't forget it. That's for sure. <laughs> no, no, it definitely stands out. It, you know, you Google Troy L. Uh, and, and musician, and you pop right up. Oh, that's good. Oh. So last <laughs> question. You made it. Yay. Yay. Okay. And make sure you stick around. Got some awesome music coming from her and the band. Um, let's pretend we're talking to Little Troy Out. Little Troy Out, okay. Yes, who's been doing music all her life, apparently. <laughs> well. But what is one thing you wish someone had told you before you got into actually trying to make, you know, make it into like music business? Mm. Um, I wish someone, I wish someone had told little Troyell, or I guess better prepared her for um, being your own biggest cheerleader and your own biggest supporter and what that entails, I guess, because it's all you like <laughs> yeah. you have to do it you know and of course you have support and th things like that but if you're not on your own team then it'll never get done so um yeah <laughs> yeah <Go ahead>. honestly <laughs> um be your own best cheerleader yeah. and be angry when other people are not yeah. <laughs> like, stick up for yourself mm -hmm. and um and fight for what you what you want to happen so yep. yeah and, and don't listen to those intrusive thoughts don't please don't don't do that. I that's, that's the imposter syndrome is real. It hundred percent. I, I, I deal with it once a week. Oh once God. a week, it's imposter syndrome, and also you just you know I I have I watch YouTube channels with millions of subscribers, and every video gets hundreds of thousands of views. Right. And of course, I'm it's it's hard to just just You're be like, like what am I well, here? they don't do what you do, and they've yeah. been doing it a lot longer, yeah. and you know blah blah blah. And, I, you Don't know, compare yourself to someone else's journey. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but one thing I did about imposter syndrome, Jamila, I can't even remember her name, but she was in the, sh the show. Um, of course, now it's going to escape my mind um, with Kristen Bell. Uh, the Good Place. Oh, thank you. The Good Place. Um, but she's, she talks about imposter syndrome a lot. And the one thing she said that helps me that I remind myself every day is that you have to lean into your imposter syndrome. So yeah. accept that it's there and do it anyway. Remind just yourself why you're doing it. Remind yourself why you're doing it mm -hmm. and just keep going. So that's that's really helped yeah. me because the struggle's real. And I have <laughs> I have to give a shout out to Hip Cheney, who's been on the show and who has commented on many a video about some venue I review or uh, some somebody who's been on the show or maybe I review a live show. Or whiskeys I've reviewed because I do that too. Voice. Why not? Ah. And I, hip, and everybody else that comments on the videos or that likes my posts or you know I I, I post little, little teasers and stuff. Thank you so much because that really is just like I feel seen. But literally, I feel like you've seen <laughs> what yeah. I post. Yeah. Because liking liking a Facebook post or Instagram or something is all well and good, but. The views, the views tell the story. The views will drive it. Yeah. And, and comments. And honestly, if you want to support a YouTuber, please watch the whole thing and comment. It helps. And share because it matters. And also subscribe. Yeah. You can turn the bell off. You don't have to, you, you can say none for all the notifications. It's fine. I'm happy to see the subscribers go up. I'm fine if you, you know, I get it. Subscribe. This took a weird turn. <laughs> Stick around. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for hanging in there. And um, by the way, thank you, Troyell. Of course. And stick around because you're in for some amazing music in a different setting than usual. So uh, this will be interesting. In the meantime, we'll see you after the uh, the music for a uh, little, little goodbye. Temporarily say goodbye. Goodbye. See you somewhere. <laughs>
limited Can't see my point of view Delicate I don't mean much to you Desperate Still hope you'll come through Lonely Even when you're next to me Nothing's wrong, but something's off here. Either I'm lost or we don't belong here. And I won't fight, I'll just sink deep in denial. You won't try, you'll just keep running this smile. Oh. Just keep running the smile. Ooh. Foolish, you're in over your head. Jealous, this love is control instead. Broken, this is a nightmare come true. Hopeless, what chasing trauma will do Cause nothing's wrong but something's off here Either I'm lost or we don't belong here And I won't fight, I'll just sink deep in denial You won't try, you'll just keep running this mile Just keep running this mile. Star see homesick life here don't make sense. Weirdo outcast. Neuro divergent star Denial, you won't try, you'll just keep running. Be my in denial you won't try you'll just keep running please oh.
If it makes you happy, that's enough for me. Let it free your mind and put your soul at ease. Some may say that's foolish, call me naive. It's your perception, make it what you please. When your heart is laughing and your joy is free and your dreams are open and your soul is seen no fear to conquer no plans to chase yeah we're just free falling in your sacred space I love it lost in your vortex I love it your vortex I love it lost in your vortex Mm, I love it, I love it when we're rushing Passion and inhale access Outside the context infinite Drinking your sunsets mm, I love it, lost in your vortex Rushing, passion and inhale access Outside the context infinite Drinking your sunsets, mm, I love it. Lost in your vortex. Mm, I love it. Lost in your vortex. Mm, I love it. Passion and inhale access outside the context infinite. Drinking your sunsets, mm, I love it. Lost in your vortex, rushing. Lost in your vortex. Mm, I love it. Lost in. Passion and inhale access outside the context infinite. Drinking your sunsets, mm, I love it. Lost in your vortex. So
Don't ask me to dance I'm grieving my own soul Don't ask me to dance I'm wrestling with my soul I'm wrestling with my soul Don't get involved I'm running out of walls Don't try to wait it out I'm lost in my own thoughts And I'm wrestling with myself Ooh I'm wrestling with my Oh, I'm here, but I'm not here, and I don't have a reason. I really love your energy, but I can't find my way out of me. Oh.
I want to thank Troy L for coming on the show. It was a great interview and a great performance. Thank you. If you want to know more about her, I've put social media links down in the description. If you'd like to be on the channel, like I said, hit me up using my email address or the Room 6 social media link down in the description. While you're there, feel free to, you know, grab some merch from room6.shop. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Look at this hat. Need Voice. it. I actually Voice. have a line of merch I like that says, make music, not excuses. Ooh. Yes. So, other than that, if you want to uh, see more videos like this, please click up here. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, if it really would make a difference, please click down there. Don't forget to ring the bell. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time. In room six. Say goodbye, Troyel. Goodbye, everyone. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba.